Kenwood, Iowa caregivers and family members are wondering what comes next after Governor Kim Reynolds announces the Glenwood Resource Center will close in two years. Well, the shutdown follows a federal investigation into allegations of abuse and experiments on the center's disabled residents. The Justice Department condemned the way the center was run and called on the state to find ways to care for vulnerable Iowans in community settings and not institutions. But one caregiver says she wishes the state had done more to fix the resource center instead of shutting it down. And she spoke with KATV News Watch 7's Abby Peterson. Abby? This afternoon, I sat down with the legal guardian of a woman currently at the Glenwood Resource Center. She tells me the news of the closure was devastating not only to her, but many others. For the past five years, Pam Bachman has served as the legal guardian of a woman currently living at the Glenwood Resource Center. How cool is it to have your own retirement community that you can live in with people that know your needs and can help you live the best life you can? Bachman says it was the perfect setting for the woman living with an intellectual disability, but soon it won't be an option. Oh, it was a sucker punch. Um, it was kind of a double-edged sword. Bachman says families and caregivers were only notified an hour ahead of Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds' announcement on Thursday. We had a town hall yesterday. I will tell you, the, the anger in the room was definitely palpable. She says that anger was directed at the state. Bachman wishes they would have done more. I am most upset that they did not put the necessary money and resources into ensuring that GRC ran as it was supposed to. It has not always been a terrible facility. There has been so many success stories. Bachman says she planned on having the woman stay at the resource center until she was medically stable enough to move into the community. But now plans have changed. It's, it's heartbreaking. I, uh, my heart breaks for everyone that has clients that have been there 40, 50 years and now they have to find a new home. It's, it's, it's not easy. I reached out to the Iowa Department of Human Services. They say they aren't ready to give interviews yet. In her announcement, Governor Reynolds said she is, quote, fully committed to a seamless and successful transition of care for residents, their family and staff members. In the newsroom, Abby Peterson, KETV News Watch 7. All right, thanks, Abby. According to a timeline from the state, 60 residents will be moved this summer to Woodward Resource Center. That's more than two hours away as Glenwood begins to reduce its population by half. In July of 2023, the rest of the center's residents will move. The facility will officially close on June 30th of 2024.